Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchasu and welcome back to my tutorial slash playthrough for the Forgotten Faction which is going to be a considerably shorter part, I mean video, I mean whatever than usual and you could probably guess why just by listening to my blubber and nonsense spouting at the start of this video guys, what did I just say? Anyway, yes, in case you have not figured it out, I am really really tired the downsides of having a consistent schedule, you see, I what I usually like to do is record all the videos during the weekend, so that, you know, during the weekdays I can just upload them and not have to stay up late to record them, but during the weekdays, if I had no time during the weekend, things like today happen. Thankfully I got myself horny, so now I'm awake and ready to record some more. So, I did a bunch of things off camera that I would like to discuss briefly before I continue onwards. I did have a little fight with a bunch of losers who died, which is obvious since they're losers, that's why they died. And I also made a few changes. Ob uh, one of the obvious changes that I always do off camera, but rarely point out, is of course moving around some of the population in some of my cities, trying to, you know, min-max as much as possible. Min-maxing your population, of course, always important, but sometimes it can get a little bit tedious, and that's why I rarely pressure people to do that, because, you know, technically speaking, there is an optimal way to place your population to distribute it, but to, in order to achieve it, you really have to check it every turn and calculate perfectly how you need to distribute your population to get the maximum results. You can do that, I myself don't bother. I mean, I do it every now and again, but doing this every turn it seems like a bit too... It's just like treating this game too seriously, if you know what I mean. But either way, I did do that off camera again. I changed some of the production so that uh, because I cancelled some of the old mists which were using titanium, I'll get back to that in a second, I had some extra titanium which allowed me to queue up a registry in uh, the boys, which is gonna be rather useful, mind you, and yeah, that's about it. Additionally, as you may have guessed already, I did retrofit my units. I did after all reach era 3, which means that I had to redesign all of my units, which also means that devils are unfortunately obsolete. They didn't you know, have much use for very long, did they? I think I only made one, didn't I? Maybe two, maybe, that's a big maybe. Because, yeah, if you compare tier 3 iron to tier 2 strategic resource armor, then, you know, they're almost equal, but iron is cheaper and easier to get than strategic resources. That's how badly Glasty and Titanium were nerfed. Which they needed to be nerfed, let's be honest about that. But I'm a little bit worried, since right now there's absolutely no reason almost to go for... Sorry? had to take a little bit of drink there. There's barely any reason to go for titanium thing over iron thing in Era 3, unless you have the tier 3 glass tier slash titanium technology, then yes, it is still good as it's supposed to be, but right now, I mean, you can see the comparison in for yourself. There are differences. If you were to go strictly by the numbers, iron is better. The reason why you might still sometimes want to use strategic resources if you're pursuing a particular thing. For example, uh, Never mind, I was about to give an example, but it would be a bad one. How about the Greaves? Greaves might be better, question mark? Yeah, Greaves would be a better example. So let's say I'm out of mages, right? So you could say, for example, that, well, I'm out of mages, ergo I need to increase my defense as much as possible so that my units will not die as often, right? But the thing is, as out of mages, what do you care about the most? Well, obviously it's attack and also damage, but those two, and those greens gives you extra 10% attack, which can be quite ridiculous when paired up with Add and Fire, so yeah, there are situations where you would want to things mix, mix things up, even when, technically speaking, numbers-wise, it's less optimal, but these situations are rare. So I did retrofit all my units, I was really tempted to give my mists the, where is it, Titanium Ring for improved damage, because look at the nice boost of damage, up to 51, that was very tempting, but the thing is, uh, right now, I cannot reliably get my Mist's initiative high enough to actually be able to compete with the AI's initiative, you see. So, because of this, I would, I really, really need to rely on my Mist's speed. And by speed, I don't mean initiative, but movement speed. So that I can deploy them far behind uh, my front lines, or just far in the back, as much as far back as possible. So that the enemy, despite having a better initiative, cannot get the first shot on the mists. And mists, because of their insanely good speed, should still be able to attack the enemy on the first turn. And at least get the faster than shadows trick 
uh, going this way because faster the shadow is faster the shadows is the reason why mists are so powerful after all. So it's pretty important to make sure that you can actually use it. And since you cannot overpower AI's initiative with your own, I decided to go for speed. So yeah, there is that. As for anything else, I did do a few minor things, or rather I'm about to do. For example, right here in Wake Up, I'm going to move, put my army back with my hero. And the reason for that being, well, simply, uh, simply put, my hero does gain experience faster when he is, or rather she is, commanding an army. So for that very reason, I decided to leave the city relatively undefended. But I should see if somebody comes from this side, especially since this village is about to be no longer purged, so it should give me a little bit of extra vision, so I think I should have enough warning, I hope. Anyway, let's discard those ruins because I... great, those ruins were useful, weren't they? Oh well, let's make sure that I have a constant scout and look around, wake up to make sure that nobody comes through and tries to kill me. Soon enough the Mazar will try to, I can guarantee that they are getting ready to do this. Unfortunately, I did reload this game, I mean, obviously since we're playing it right now, which means that the AI's tendencies have partially reset. This is something I noticed a long time ago AI does do when you reload a game. So for example, those guys, they were exhausted right now. They are, well, for some reason I can't show you what they are, but just a moment ago I checked and they were leery. And they didn't care about the fact that I actually conquered the city or defeated the armies or did anything. They could no longer forget about this at all. I mean, remember about this at all. Which is unfortunate, but it doesn't, well, happen. Annoyingly enough. And for the same reason, Mizari, now they actually have an extra trait which they didn't have before, and that is living space tension. But this one actually, at the very least, makes sense, because, I mean, when you look at this, things are getting awfully crowded over here, and it looks like those guys don't care, they just take what they see, and it looks like I'm next on their list, because they certainly ain't dumb enough to, you know, declare war on the necrophages. Although I wish they were, I wish they were. Anyway, I'm gonna have a quick look see at the empire of my scouts soon enough, I'm probably going to have to steal their vision, all those things similar. I doubt I'll steal tier 1 era 1 technology, because what would I steal from era 1? Let's be entirely frank here. Nothing that would be useful to me, and this would just increase the cost of my further technologies, which I can't allow. So yeah, there is that thing, and uh, by getting some vision out of the Mazari, I'll be able to tell if an attack really is coming, how likely it is, where, where it's gonna hit, when it's gonna hit, how can I prepare against it, you know, things like that. Vision is power after all. It's rather important. Alrighty then. Let's keep moving, my mist. Hello there, you do not see me. Nope, I'm not here. Bye. <laughs> I love invisibility, it's so fun. Okay, let's go on to the water, just for a quick second, since... Oh, well... There's a cliff there, I cannot... Oh, but I'm flying. Never mind about the cliff, I'll be fine. Ooh, that's actually fortunate. Also, I never really commented on this, but... Can somebody explain to me what exactly are the Forgotten Ships supposed to be? I mean, they look really cool. I've just been thinking to myself, how does this swim? Or how exactly does it even look like? Like, I don't know, it's pretty cool, but I don't get it. <laughs> let's just put it this way. Alright, let's focus on the more serious stuff though. So, my hero is gonna stay there. As for those myths, obviously I'm gonna stay on the lookout for the enemy's capital. And also discover any ruins that I come across as well. And if is indeed the enemy's capital, you have a small capital, dear sir. Please don't take that out of context. Uh, Alright, 150 deaths was certainly worth my effort though, so I'm happy about it. Let's discover a bit of north, because, you know, having a bit more vision of the map is never, never a bad idea. So, yeah, that will help, and nothing else. Oh, and by the way, somebody pointed out that this region suddenly is no longer colonized. Most likely, the neutral armies burned down Lairtan, and the other majors were not actually able to defend it, which is... I mean, just sad. I can, of course, now settle down with my celeb, but I already failed the quest that asked her to do so. And is there any reason why I would want to settle there? None whatsoever. In fact, this would be even worse, because this would increase the border tension between me and Adamators, encouraging them to declare war on me. Not like I'm afraid of them, though. Compared to the other two guys, I'm free, I suppose, they are the puniest. I have no idea why AIs are so bad as Adamators, but unfortunately, it is. They are disgrace to the family. Family? Since when? Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's keep my army moving towards Bound Girl because I do have a feeling like it's gonna be attacked 
pretty quickly by the wild walkers wild walkers are about to die a missile will wipe them out i have no about, doubt about that but i do want to protect bad girl before uh, from the wild walkers for as long as wild walkers still exist all right give me another quest maybe this one will be better kidnap brothers in lair town locate certain village and destroy it for 20 pixie blood i cannot use that unfortunately but you know it's never a bad idea to fulfill a quest especially since it will save me a bit of bother killing the villagers although killing villagers does give me some resources as well you know what yeah let's just murder murdering this is fun right hi in fact things are so fine my favor in this auto battle i'm even gonna take a risk and actually go for auto battle but i was about to say i better not lose anything and i lost my only devil ever f you game f you all right and, and i didn't even, i didn't even win what on f just happened how did i not win those are puny guys <sighs> that's why you don't do out of auto battle unless you're recording a video and are trying to speed things up just a little bit and then are punished for it i hate auto battle sometimes so badly sometimes i love it because it for no reason gives me a really good victory but most of the times it gives me a really bad victory or really bad defeat in fact when I deserve victory or slightly worse or better defeat depending on how you look at it. Anyway, allow me to take a moment to sip some of my water from my brandy glass because I'm so classy I drink water from brandy, brand, blah, 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 brandy glass? Brandy grass, the best kind of grass. It grows on brandy. Okay, anyway, give me a sec. I'm oh, crying a lot, really. Wait. Say that? Oh yeah, that's a different region. Never mind. Okay, let me drink my planted grass. Give me a sec. Mm. Mm. Alright, looks like wild walkers are still alive and kicking. They just settled. Well, good for you, wild walkers. Enjoy your imminent demise because you're, gonna, you're not gonna survive for long. I'm not gonna conquer the city though. There's no reason for me to do that. It'll just lower my overall approval. And it's right now a perfect city with no structures inside whatsoever. It would be a bother more so than a benefit. I would rather have leave it alive so that the Missouri have an extra target to deal with. That's, in my opinion, a better idea. Alright, you know, how are you doing, Wake Up? You should have gotten additional population from this village, and indeed, indeed it has. I can go for defensive wards, but in fact, I would rather have it in my capital because I can't allow the AIs to actually take my capital. So, yeah, I will go for that in my capital, but not just yet, not just yet. In the meantime, I'm gonna go for canal system in Wake Up, since, you know, it's Wake Up, it's gonna get out of population quickly, so canal system is gonna be used once the city grows a little bit, and, of course, it also has the Museum of F in Auriga, which will allow it to gain some pretty ridiculous levels. In fact, what I can also do is queue up the lumber mill, but that can wait. Before I do that, I would rather queue up the apprenticeship registry, over at Bad Girl, since I want all my cities to actually be relatively productive. Uh, you know, because it's actually good to have cities that can actually make things. I know, it's a controversial statement and fairly new, but I actually stand by that. And anyway, let's finish killing some fools. Seriously, if they damage any of my units, this will be. Oh, did, they, did they damage more than one unit? That's ridiculous. Alright, whatever. Gain 20 red sang. Uh, if that was just red sang instead of pixie blood, I would be okay with that, but I lost units as well, so I'm not very, very keen on that. Also, what are you doing here? I mean, alright, feel free, feel free to settle here. I have no desire to settle anywhere at this point in the game. So, yeah, you can do that. It's just a little bit surprising, that's all. I'm, I'm not gonna judge, just saying you should probably, I don't know, make an army to defend yourself from the necrophages who are probably gonna kill you very quickly. Although, actually, you know what? No, don't do that. Just let them capture the capital. That would be beneficial to me. Anyway, capital is here. I didn't know what's guarding it, but there are certainly some units guarding it, so I can't conquer it with just mist. That's good to know. What I can do with this mist is pillage some things, you know, somewhere further back from the front lines, where there's no way AI will actually be able to respond to my acts of pillage. So, let's go to this Hunan's village and let's pillage. Uh, that actually rhymed. I did not plan for this to rhyme, but it did. I feel so epic. Alright, let's also keep moving towards the enemy's capital. By enemies, I mean, obviously, the Necrophator's capital. I could use another hero to infiltrate it, but right now, that is... Uh, actually, that might be a possibility. No, not quite. They are very expensive right now. I do need more heroes. 
And of course, by fulfilling all my faction quests, at the end of the oh my god, the storyline, you get three extra new heroes, which is a rather nice boost, you see. But at the moment, that is far beyond what I can do. I'm still waiting for Jemia to regain her senses and become a murderous killing machine, so I gotta wait. And if we go, it's not really, let's end the tent for the time being and drink some more water. Oh, yes, it's good. Alright, then here we gained some uh, infiltration options, which is nice. I don't really want to do anything. I could do things like decrease population, but that's very expensive for what it does. And additionally, it will always notify the AI that there's a spy in the city, resulting in the AI performing roundup. I can guarantee that it will. Instead, I would rather go for something that has a chance of not notifying the enemy of my presence, which will hopefully make those guys take longer before they declare war on me. Hero, hero level up, obviously double for nothing, which is a little bit annoying because, you know, I cannot use double for an, or nothing. Uh, the faster way for this here to actually gain those levels for this quest to complete is to stay leading an army, but, you know, in the end it really does not matter at all. Alright. Um... I want to turn around actually because I am kind of scared the enemy might come from this way and coming from this side would be so lengthy I don't believe AI pathing would actually make it happen in one billion bajillion years so yeah suddenly so realize that this area is crappy so they're going away I can't say I blame them let's see what I have here can you give me another quest that is actually decent we've been the shipper that's uh, that's a staff I can't really use that on anything I mean, it's not a bad stuff, man. It's actually pretty good, but I... Could I buy a hero that would use it? And would I want to have a hero that can use this kind of stuff? I mean, there are some animators heroes. I don't care about them, though. And there are some dragon heroes who I possibly would care about, but... They would review my entire army because they themselves are not stealthed. So, I don't really care about whooping the ship, and I'm sorry. Now, I'm... Oh, those are vine snakes. So they will not come to those guys' rescue, so I can just declare a war. And you know what? I know I shouldn't auto battle, but I will. I lost another mist. Woohoo! And it didn't even kill the bastards. Well, I will not have to pay for this mist now. Always look at the bright side of death. Anyway, let's perform a pillage. Nice and easy. Hi there, other mages. Don't mind me. I'm just pillaging. It's only gonna take me 20 turns to actually do it. It looks like it's gonna be closer to 8, which is still not worth it, mind you. But I'm gonna do it nevertheless, because hey, why not? It's extra few resources after all. Das Alchemy is... gettable. So I now have to make a decision. Do I want to go for Das Alchemy, or do I want to go for a hero? It's not a hard decision at all. I definitely want to go for Das Alchemy, because this will pay for itself really quickly, and I'll gain a new hero much faster once I get Das Alchemy. So yeah, I can go for Das Depository right away, but I'll rather wait for an extra 10 to actually get the... where is it? Dust transmitter, there we go, because you know it's dust transmitter would be kind of useful in my capital. Although it does have sometimes that have no dust in it on them whatsoever, whereas Way Cap has even more tiles with no dust whatsoever. Alright, yeah, it's gonna be my capital improvement, not about that. Alright, let's have a quick look at the enemy's capital. Now, there is some danger heading into the Necrophagus territory. The danger is in the form of watchtowers, which I noticed the necrophages actually do have. If you look at a capital right here, and that's actually an extractor. Huh, I thought I saw them having watchtowers. Ah, uh, looks like they actually don't. Never mind, they are silly. Well, I thought I saw a watchtower somewhere. But if I did, then everything would be at watchtower, so maybe they didn't get the tech after all. And I do not see any new roads, so yeah, they didn't get the tech, which is, again, weird and stupid, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Anyway, oh look! Settles are pillaging Messiah, that's wonderful, I'm happy about that. Anyway, I got myself some extra dust, which is lovely. I can't really use that on anything right now, but it will speed up the process of me buying another hero. Let's end the turn! Getting ready to actually, you know, commence with my plan, but time is of the essence, and I'm at turn 60 and still not quite ready to assault. I don't even have an army anywhere. Anyway, I can help myself with that by going for a good empire plan development so let's have a quick look see at what i can have i can continue doing what i've been doing but i'd rather not i'll i already got the researchers i wanted so i can resign from this part right there can i actually go for level two on anything uh, i can go for extra 30 percent attack on units i predict a war soon enough so even though i love the extra dust from population of cities 
as forgotten. I kind of feel like I shouldn't risk it and go for the extra attack, especially since my units have very low attack value. That's one of the biggest weaknesses of the forgotten. Our units have extremely powerful, useful and uh, versatile abilities, but stats-wise we are suffering and we don't have the attack to actually perform our abilities, which is perhaps the biggest worry for any forgotten player. Which is why extra attack is so important. Way so more important than getting this extra happiness on cities, for example. Which is normally a really good idea, but not in this case. Alright, boosters have run out, which is a shame indeed. I'm gaining way less dust now, and, in, and influence as well. But because of this die booster, I did have enough influence to go for what I wanted to go for. So that's good, let's kill those bastards again. Nice and easy, real quickly. This amount of damage is unjustified, just saying, but at the very least now I'm at peace. Those guys, I have no idea what they're doing, but I will just assume they will go away and not actually attack me, because this would be ridiculous if they swim all the way here just to attack me. They will, they, I mean, okay, I'm pretty sure they will attack me, and I'll have to kill them, and I will do that once my army heals up a little bit. In the meantime, let's keep checking for the enemy forces, nice and easy, which is mostly a pretense for this hero gaining extra levels. Wake up is doing pretty nicely. Let's level up our Riga. I mean, Museum of Ruriga. I mean, Ruriga. I cannot speak today, apparently. And also, let's uh, get the extra lumber mill first, in fact, because that's rather important to see. Okay, and in fact, can I get the lumber mill to tens? Yes, indeed, I can. So let's do just that. Thank you very much. Extra movement on some of my units. Ah, yeah. Defending Bad Girl. That's really important. <laughs> And of course my scout, another rather important thing, let's keep checking, and oh, I forgot I haven't met you yet guys, but it's actually not a problem because, well, they're so far away, I mean the thing is, you guys need to realize that while it feels like we're so far away and there's no way they can attack me, they can if they head west, because you know this sea over there, if they have seafaring technology, they can just cross it easily and attack me, now they might not have seafaring technology, but looking at this thing I just noticed, really true right now, it looks like there's an island they have taken, which means that they indeed do have seafaring technology and they can swim towards me and attack me from the sea. Which would be rather scary, mind you. It's really ridiculously scary. I'm afraid of those guys way more than I am of the Mazari. Although, I am more of a counter to the Necrophages than uh, a counter to the Mazari. Mazari, in fact, are quite good at fighting the Forgotten, so maybe not so much. I mean, no, no, no matter what, I am afraid of those guys, let's, let's be honest there. Alright, the city is also defended with a humongous amount of fortification, but that actually doesn't matter, since I'll plan to destroy all the fortification in one go. Uh, it looks like those are only four units gunning it though, and if those are bad units, like for example if those are proliferators instead of necrodrones, then it should be easy to take the city. We will see, of course, once I actually have a hero to put into that capital, because, you know, I kind of need to do that with a hero. Anyway, can I go for the stance mirror? Yes, indeed I can, there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to do that. Let's get it ASAP, because it's really important. Holy balls, it takes a lot of <laughs> industry to actually make it, wow. Yep, it does. Oh, I'm actually unhappy. Ouch, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem and a half. I will need to increase my food production, but even then, it's still quite a long way until I can actually make another bar of street to counter the unhappiness. So, it looks like the next ordeal, instead of grabbing Dust Refinery, would be Bread and Circuses, which I cannot afford just yet, but I need to get it desperately since I'm out of happiness. If I look... Actually, hold on a second. Hi there, Blood Crystal. Oh, it's... No, I can't use Blood Crystal. It's an essential thing to have in terms of war, so I'll save it. Maybe I actually have something else that I can use that is useful. I don't have the influence, but... I might actually assimilate the Silex. I'm not sure where I have the Silex. Let's have a quick check. In in my... No, in, not in my capital. In Wake Up I have the Silex. So, Silex is actually pretty good. It would increase my amount of strategic resources, which I really do care about. Then I get 5% damage is nice, but I'd rather have extra half resource per turn than extra 5% damage, I think. Seems like a better idea. Although there isn't that much I can use these resources for anymore. I don't know. Right now I don't have this influence anyway, so I might as well end the turn and keep going. And just see if anything weird or suspicious happens at the start of this turn. I doubt it will. I doubt it will. At least I hope nothing will happen that will cause me to freak out. But so far, looks like everything is okay. Where are the Vine Snakes going? They're just frolicking around. Wait, what? Oh. 
So they did respond to that. We have a zealot. Uh, what? I suppose I'll see what the zealot has. Well, it's not that impressive to be honest, but it is a level 6 unit against my level 2 unit that is also really, really old. Actually, hold on a second. I have 68 attack. This guy has less defense. Can I take this guy? No, no, no. I have 38 damage on this mist. No, no, I can't, I can't take him. I can't redo it either. Oh. Oh, because I'm pillaging. Ha <laughs> ha Well, then out of curiosity, let's go into actual manual combat and see how well I will do. But I will lose this, no doubt about that. Okay. So the enemy has two movement. They can move to up to here. They will be able to attack one, two, three. So I need to go all the way back there, nice and easy, and then declare the attack. Now, I want to, if possible, attack from within a forest tile, and I assume the enemy will move to this tile right here, or this tile, so let's move over here and attack the enemy nice and easy. Yep, I will be able to attack the enemy nice And the enemy's morale will also be lowered, which is important. Ouch. Well, it doesn't matter if the enemy's morale is lowered, unfortunately, because they are, well, rather scary. So, yeah, oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, never mind, they actually missed me completely. Maybe it's not gonna hurt as much. But it's not gonna hurt them either. Let's be entirely honest about that. And now they have added fire, which means that they are way more likely to actually kill me and murder me. But you know, it's it is a fun experience dying. <laughs> Poor guy. He didn't deserve it. He was distracted pillage. But he did his job. He gave me a vision confirmed the location of enemy's capital. I didn't really have much use for him after that. In fact, I probably should have sold him some time ago because he did cost me dust every turn. It was not worth it to keep pillaging and yeah I really should have sold him so it's good the enemy AI killed him because it made me realize that indeed yeah I actually shouldn't have had this guy to begin with I should have killed him myself also I just realized I actually have a wine deposit so I could gather that if I had the proper technology but again technologies are kind of sparse right now and bread and sickness is way more important dude way more important although does the enemy have bread and sick I mean do technology to extract wine and stuff so a quick look, uh, I need to find some kind of luxury resource that is tier 1, that is spice extractors. Yes, so they do have the technology to do that. Uh, that might be better than having vision in this case. And I would have to wait for level 3 infiltration, then again, level 3 infiltration is going to be in the next turn. And I want to see what the enemy armies are and how strong they are as well, so I'll actually do that instead, I think. So yeah, okay. The Vices are actually still moving forward a little bit, which is most annoying, but I'll still stay on the lookout for them rather than confront them right away. And what else? I have one extra army. Oh yeah, those are the scouts that are trying to see what there is to see. Alright, let's keep scanning around the enemy's capital, make sure I see everything I need to see or want to see, and explore some ruins while I'm at it. But this will have to wait until the next turn, ladies and gentlemen. It might seem like we haven't done much, but those few things we did... Oh boy. I probably didn't upgrade this assassin, did, it? did I? Whatever. Those things that we did were necessary, and so there's extremely fast videos need to be followed up or preceded by some slower videos, and this one was one of the slower ones, I admit. But then again, I didn't just murder Wild Walkers, right? I mean, I didn't murder them yet, but I took the most valuable city. Anyway, is that. Influence gains from... Oh yeah, right. Um, no, that's not gonna be important for me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching those Pancha, so, and I'll see you online.